it's a beautiful morning and I'm trying to wake up early and be out here in the garden before the sun is directly overhead and then our garden won't be in the shade. So it's beautiful in the morning and we have beautiful shade right now. Just checking on our garlic and onions that we harvested not too long ago, the other day. We set them out here in the greenhouse to cure because it's protected from the rain. I'm out here early this morning to check underneath our row covers and see what we've got growing and harvest any greens that we might have. I've found lots of lamb's quarter. This is beautiful, beautiful wild spinach and it is growing amongst our spinach but it grows everywhere else in our garden. And this plant is so nutritious and I'll show you what I've been doing with it once we get back inside. So I'm gonna harvest, okay, move it Bard Rock. I'm gonna harvest a bunch of lamb's quarter and we'll take it right inside. I also wanted to show you, we are very fortunate on our property to have this magenta lamb's quarter. This is a variety of lamb's quarter and it's magenta right in the middle and it's so bright and beautiful. And even just the back of the leaves are just beautiful. And if, you, if you're if you out harvesting lamb's quarter, you notice that there's like this little gritty feel to your fingers after harvesting them. And that's pollen that it's collected on the leaves. These are so nutritious. And one way I like to identify lamb's quarter is, I'm not sure if you can see this on the film, but in real life, you can see it. There's this gray or silvery dusting on the inside of the leaves here. That's one way you can tell that it's lamb's quarter. It's also known as goose foot because it's the, sh the leaves are in the shape of a goose foot and they're just delicious to have in salads. And, and I'll show you what I'm doing with them once we get inside because we have so much of this. All right, we're back inside. I just wanted to show you really quick what I've been doing with the lamb's quarter. So we just brought in our lamb's quarter from outside, it doesn't look like much, but first we have to get this all washed. Okay, so these are all washed, and what I'm going to do is just take each leaf and place them on the dehydrator. I don't want them to be touching because then it won't dry properly. I wanna space them out, and then in a few hours, they will be done. I'm just gonna keep on adding to this dehydrator until they're all ready to be turned into a powder. These are ready to go. They're dried and crispy, and when you press them, they crumble and flake off. So these are ready to be placed into the mason jar. Okay, so now that our jar is nice and full, I'm going to put this in the Vitamix blender to grind it into a powder. So it's going to turn this beautiful green and it's in a fine powder, but you know what? I think it could be ground even finer. And it has a really nice spinach smell to it. Now what I have is this really nice, fine powder. If there are a few stems in there, you can pull them out. And this fine powder is going to be excellent to add to smoothies, eggs, or soups in the winter time when lamb's quarter isn't growing fresh in our garden. We'll put the lid right on the mason jar 
and it'll stay airtight and it'll stay good because it's dehydrated. It'll stay good all winter long. I just wanted to show you really quick what I've been doing with lamb's quarter and I hope you will feel encouraged to take a look more deeply into this weed called lamb's quarter. Find out all the benefits that it has for you and you can harvest some on your own or you can purchase some from a friend who might have a garden and try and eat more lamb's quarter. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day. I came out here to check on our low row tunnel cover things. <laughs> <laughs>